What's up knights, Xantos here, and in today's video we'll be running through some expert rift bosses at various levels of threat. Along with this, we'll be featuring some of the toughest rifters I've had the pleasure of working with in game. In all honesty, I have become a very comfortable rifter. There has been many weeks I quickly blitzed to Realm 7 while attempting to maintain an easygoing pace in game that allows me to throw on 3 times auto and OHKO most enemies until around Realm 6 when a little bit of added attention is needed. This is something I have worked for in game. Sacrificing piles of gear to the Lady of the Lake and stepping into the rift week after week to build my RP. While it might not seem as exciting as cranking threat level to the max each week, once past 580 threat in the expert rift, bosses yield no greater drop than 16, so I often find myself fighting in and around this level. While RP gains aren't as bountiful as they could be, I personally enjoy bouncing to Realm 7 and in a way working backwards from that point. It allows me a comfortable view of the realms and the bosses that they hold, a good look at what traps I'll be presented with to work with in my endgame, and the ability to crank my threat and push my limits if I want to for a desired boss. Now, that's not to say that I don't sharpen the old sword or dust off the old hammer from time to time for some good old smashing and mashing. Now, when I first started rifting, I actually was a mage user, but uh, recently I've done a full switch to hunter. I'm using a 325% hunter build right now with a good chunk of health and armor on my head and chest piece as well. Uh, it makes things rather comfortable in game and um, I really have been enjoying the, uh, the ability to delay with McLeod. Um, I often use the chaotic gauntlet uh, so that I can get Brutus with that 4 turn charge and uh, rage gains. Along with uh, McLeod just smashing the field, he's also a strong versus goblin hero, so his uh, his abilities against the nameless are extremely useful. I just uh, I really like this hero. His base power has the ability to um, to deal a good stack of damage and poison as well. He's just a, a very well-rounded hero, and um, mage class definitely lacks in uh, in a very good. Um, in a good goblin hero to fight the nameless, so I, I, I found myself doing the full switch to um, to Hunter for this exact reason. Now starting things off here, we're going to expose the entire field with Brutus's Bombardment. Brutus's base power for full rage yet again, and then slamming the field with McLeod so that we can just get a nice chunk of damage out there. Throw on the base as well. Nice stack of damage on the enemy here. And with four swings, we're able to take out this expert rift boss at 700 th fairly quickly. A big key thing to fighting at these uh, high levels of threat, I find, is that uh, you have to be able to to quickly handle a boss or a situation uh, in in a very just quick manner. You can see we actually get a, a nice 10 shards for McLeod there to give him his sixth start. Very nice. Uh, it, it's not different from fighting at... Uh, at 580 threat in terms of rewards you'll be getting the same amount of rewards but you'll be getting way 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 more RP now up next here we actually have a knight by the name of just too fast uh, this guy is the main hunter that I've ever seen in knighthood this guy just has always helped me so much in game with uh, his hunter build and just teaching me how to essentially be a useful hunter in expert rift you can see here he's using lanasa's rage power so that he can weaken the full field uh, he has protection with brutus as well this is giving him a nice amount of resistance against the enemy but this boss actually rips off any buffs that you have as well so he can be a bit of a pain in the ass in this situation <clears throat> This fight is actually really down to the wire, and uh, I appreciate Just Too Fast for sending this in to us. It's just, uh, it's nice to see a bit of a nail biter fight. This boss has haste, so he's just swinging away here. Just Too Fast opts to go with Brutus' bombardment for a little bit of expose, and with three swings, he manages to take out the 
expert rift boss at uh, I believe that was 690 threat, so a fairly uh, fairly big stack of of threat there. All right, next up here we have a knight that goes by the name Tri H Z. He's an extremely powerful knight. I've been working with this guy in my guild for a very long time now, and he is actually a mage user and smashes in the rift each week. Uh, you can actually see him on the top 10 leaderboard almost every single week, so very impressive. You can see here, starting off, he's using Brutus's Bombardment, and you can see with the use of one Strength Pot here, he's able to absolutely smash down this Expert Rift Bot. So impressive to see. It's nice to see some different styles, too. Um, Brutus's Bombardment giving a nice chunk of damage to the nameless enemies in here. And if ever he does dip down to a point where his health is a little bit uncomfortable, he always has Azar in his back pocket and is able to just heal right back up. You can see that was an extremely fast fight, but still impressive nonetheless. Thank you very much for your footage, my friend. Alright, next up here we have the very magnificent Queen Serene. She is an absolutely beast rifter. This girl is consistently on the top 10 leaderboard, consistently just proving herself every single week, and I had to speak to her and reach out and just see how she does it and how she fights at such high threats and maintains such a high score in the rift. She's currently using a warrior build in-game alongside Krita and Logan, and uh, she's using a protect on chain start for the weapon so that she can maintain that 35% bonus defenses along with weakening the field by 35% and having three pieces of gear attuned makes it so that she's able to resist any damage type that she wants. It's very impressive. Any monster type, sorry, apologies. You can see just absolutely shredding at 750 threat. I was astounded to see some of this footage from people. It's just absurd to see how much damage can be done and what putting in a lot of effort actually looks like into your mythic gear. Uh, next up here we have the Renegade of the Rift fighting at 775 threat. This threat level is just just threat levels that I, I never really push myself to in all honesty. There's been a few times here and there but uh, not too often do I stretch myself to this type of threat. You can see uh, she's using Devalin with this build today. Logan's weak in the field again, and that protect on chain start on the weapon. This boss is very susceptible to poison, so uh, as something that is definitely considered when fighting an expert rift. You can see these enemies are dealing a good chunk of damage even while weakened. Throwing a bit of poison at the boss here. Weakening the field and gaining health with Logan's base power. Cleansing of negative status effects with a Vigor Pot so that the boss's powers don't deal extra damage. Bouncing back to the boss, applying more poison. It's a guaranteed kill on the next turn. And just like that, the Renegade of the Rift Room is cleared at 775 threat. Alright, next up here, rocking it at 790 threat, we have Penthator the Scion. I also really appreciate that Queen is using uh, multiple heroes in these video demonstrations. Bring along Garen in this example, and uh, you'll see why in just a moment. Rocking that Protect on Chain Start and Logan's Base Power to gain Haste Pot for a couple extra actions. Throwing out Garen's Rage Power here and just dealing a huge chunk of damage to the enemies on the field. Utilizing a second Haste Pot here just to keep the turns rolling. Another Base Power to heal up more. And she's face to face with the boss. Throwing down Garen's rage power yet again, just dealing huge amounts of damage. And there's the delay to knock him out. Again, just nice, quick, 
kills. That's what the focus is here. And in our last bit of footage today, we are going to be having the Butcher of the Rift at the big 800 threat. Big thank you to Queen, she hit the 800 for me. I asked for it and she just, she delivered the video. Again, switching up the heroes, bringing along Ericsson so that she could just deal huge chunks of damage to the field. Now, it's much harder to land freeze at uh, higher threat levels in Rift, but you can see in this uh, little chunk of video footage here that the damage potential with Ericsson's Rage in the Rift is still there. It's very present. Throwing out the Rage here with Ericsson, you're gonna see the boss just get absolutely demolished at 800 threat. Again, like I said, it's those quick kills that you want to focus, dealing with the threat as quickly as possible. Absolutely astounded with this footage. Another slam from Ericsson to wrap things up. And that's the video for today. Again, just absolutely astounded with these fights. I, I, I'm so appreciative of all the knights that sent in footage to me to uh, be a part of the video and big thank you to Queen for, for throwing down and just showing us how it's really done in the Rift today. Absolutely amazing final score from her. Big thank you to everyone tuning in. Uh, I've been a little bit non-existent on my channel. Uh, the reason for this is actually because I've been moving houses, but uh, I'm finally settling into my new house and things are getting pretty comfortable here, so I'm gonna attempt to get back into the swing of making videos for everyone. Really hope that you guys enjoyed. Big thank you again. And as always, Knights, stay grinding.